Have you ever wondered how the first perfume was made? Let's journey back in time, around 4,000 years ago, to the land of the ancient Egyptians. The birthplace of perfume was not a vanity table, but a sacred temple. The Egyptians crafted their earliest fragrances for the gods. They would burn incense formed from a mix of spices and herbs like frankincense and myrrh, creating an aromatic smoke that was believed to carry their prayers to the heavens. But the art of perfume making didn't stop there. Fragrant woods and resins were steeped in water and oil, concocting a kind of balm. This was not a perfume as we know it today, but it served a similar purpose. It was used to mask the harsh smell of animal sacrifices during religious rituals, making the act more bearable, more sacred. So the birth of perfume was more about spirituality than vanity. A divine concoction, it was a bridge between humans and their gods. But how did we go from burning incense to the sophisticated fragrances we have today? This journey of evolution is a fascinating one. It all started with the Persians who discovered the process of distillation. This breakthrough allowed them to extract the very essence of plants and flowers, creating more potent and longer lasting perfumes. But the story doesn't end there. The Arabs picked up the baton and refined the distillation process even further. They introduced new ingredients such as musk and ambergris, adding a whole new dimension to the world of fragrances. Then came the Romans and Greeks who truly democratized the use of perfumes. They incorporated fragrances into their daily lives, using them in public baths and even rubbing them onto their bodies. Perfumes were no longer just a luxury, but a form of early deodorant, a testament to cleanliness and personal care. Thus, perfume making evolved from a simple ritual to an integral part of personal hygiene. But when did the first modern perfume come to be? Well, the first perfume that we can truly liken to today's fragrant creations was brought to life in the late 14th century. This was the handiwork of an alchemist named Taputi. Taputi meticulously crafted her perfume using a range of ingredients including flowers, oil and calamus, along with cypress, myrrh and balsam. She painstakingly distilled and filtered these ingredients several times to manifest a captivating scent. Yet the true artistry of perfume making was only fully realized in the late 16th century, when the craft migrated to the aromatic heartland of France. The French, with their innate flair and passion, began to cultivate aromatic plants, producing a vast array of fragrances. They also introduced alcohol as a solvent, a game-changing addition that still remains a staple in modern perfumery. And that, my friends, is how the first modern perfume was made.